Hello again my friends, this is a boy news dog and welcome to the channel where I play and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In today's episode, and it's been a long time coming, I feel like I'm permanently on catch up, but finally my ranking of all four games on the Sydney Hunter collection. Remember that set? Remember these are just my personal opinions and sometimes the order of my choices may not necessarily be due to which is the technically superior game. It's just taste innit? As of most carts, there isn't a game I dislike in this collection, so last place doesn't mean game bad. Let's get stuck in. And in fourth place is... Jester. I love this game almost immediately and while I was playing I thought this is going to be high on my list but in the end the game is just too damn short. So as an extra game on a cart it is brilliant but because of the length it's no cart seller in its own right. In third place is Sydney Hunter and the Shrines of Peril. This is a rather addictive little game that gets tricky each round and in extra rooms and harder versions of extra enemies or faster ones. It's simplicity itself and great fun to go back to now and then just to see if you can get that little bit further. And in second place is Sydney Hunter and the Caverns of Death. For a time this was number one, it's unsurprisingly the most polished looking of the set as it's a 16 bit game and it has some great mechanics such as triggering rising lava when you grab an idol. Really no complaints about this game, just great fun while you're exploring each cavern. And at number one is, obviously, Sydney Hunter and the Sacred Tribe. There's just something about this game, it's just one big level, but it's so fun to explore, working out how to get through and find all the treasure. Especially with the physical map that came with the car, a novelty no less, but a bloody great one. And my final thoughts on the cart, there isn't a bad title in here, just one that some may find a little basic and one that's probably a bit too short. But the other two titles are great, and in the end they're all still fun experiences. If you're not too bothered of only four titles in the collection, you can't go wrong with this cart. Don't forget this month I'm ranking every single console, home computer and arcade collection in their respective lists. Crikey it's been and it's still tricky, so look forward to those. And if you've made it here to the end of the episode, thanks ever so much for joining me. Leave a thumbs up or comment if you'd like. What order would you put these games in? Either way, I'm just chuffed your poke to it in for a goosey gander. As always, I hope you're having the most awesomest of days, my friends. And until next time, be safe.